Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel, All of My Plants. Today's video was supposed to be um, repotting. I did that video. It just didn't go well. But the plants are repotted and they're fine. Um, so anyway, today's video is actually going to be lots and lots of plant chores. Setting up this room, in fact. Um, I think it took me about three days. I recorded about two days of it. But actually, it took me longer than that. Significantly longer than that. But that's... Uh, how long it took me to rearrange and shuffle things and I still have to do more I have to do it again so currently I think we're close to about 250 plants in this room and I can fit more I can make better use of the space to fit more but for now this is where we are because I still have to fit uh, another piece of furniture in here a futon actually and I had intended to put it back there but I don't know if that's going to happen I have to do something with it tomorrow? Tomorrow or the weekend? Um, I don't know. Anyway, so what you're about to see is me running around in circles. I sped a lot of it up because it's two days worth of footage. Um, that's pretty much what I did for two days solid was working here. Three days. Um, I worked in here today also. But anyway, I sped a lot of it up because it's just me walking around and moving things and shuffling things back and forth and, you know, you'll see. You'll see. So let's go watch that. Oh, I'm going through bins. I have one, two, three other bins over there and three here. Those are, one is full of wet sphagnum moss and two are full of uh, potting soil. The one you've probably seen, the other one is larger. I had propagations in it a while back. This bin has um, chemicals, uh, fertilizers, uh, pesticides, leaf shine, um, orchid mist, you name it, um, and I'm just still adding to it. I'm gathering plant stuff from under sinks, um, my downstairs bathroom, just all over the house, and I had no idea that I had it spread out so bad until I started going through these bins. Somewhere there's another bin, probably about the size of this one actually, and I, I can't remember what's in it, but I know there's plant stuff in it. And then over there, there's bags of bark and potting soil on the bottom shelf of one of the plant shelves. This bottom bin here is full of, like, potting stuff. So soil, bark, perlite, leca, whatever. Um, this one here, I think I have empty at the moment. I do. I've emptied this one um, because I previously was not using this larger bin. Gosh, there's more. Shoot. Mosquito bits. I'm almost out of those. I'm just going to add them to that soil mix, I think. I mean, I don't have a container just sitting there with a couple tablespoons. Um, I have mosquito dunks downstairs that I left, too, in my kitchen. I think they might stay there for now. Okay, I was just dumping the rest of those mosquito bits so I could get rid of that. Um... Pots. I have 9,000 pots. I'm, look, I have a lot of plants. I think in this room currently there's about 150 in here. And there's still plants all over my house. My laundry room's full of them. The cabinet downstairs is full of them. Um, I want to get more in here. <laughs> I don't mind having plants, um, you know, all over my house. But I would rather they aren't just stuck here and there. I'd rather have them more purposefully in my home in other rooms. So, I need to sort that out. I'm going to put this in with soil stuff for now. Um, gosh. I guess you can kind of see. It's just soil stuff and maybe some random pots for now. A piece of a random pot. I've got plant hangers all over the place, like uh, these things. These, like, macrame hanger things. Um, this, the ceilings are very low in this room, like, I don't think you can actually tell, 
but I'm, I'm touching the ceiling. My arm's still bent. So um, very low. And I think this is the room with the lowest ceilings in the house, actually. It is. So hanging plants don't work well in here. Um, uh, can you see these vines? My daughter had them hanging in here. I don't know if they're showing. But um, yeah, she had them hanging in here, and I kind of like them, so I just left them. Uh, looks like uh, faux golden, golden pothos. But anyway, um, so yeah, today I'm just trying to organize. Um, like something because it's just a mess and then I also have some plants that need to be treated because I think they have spider mites and I actually think one might have thrips which is weird I haven't seen thrips in my collection in a long time and I don't know why that is well the ones that stay indoors year-round do have systemic in the pot so maybe that's why um, I just got very sick of thrips at one point. It wiped out about half of my plants like years and years ago, 2018, 2019, maybe somewhere in there before I started YouTubing. Um, and I, I was over it at that point. So any plants that stay indoors year round systemics, I don't know why, but I don't have much problem with them outside. I think it's other natural predators out there. Um, get a hold better than the thrips do, I guess. I don't know. Spider mites, on the other hand, are an ongoing issue, no matter where my plants are. What is this? Uh, even more like a, um, and planty cords. Um, this is a spare cord for some lights. What is this too? I have no idea. Does it have a brand name on it somewhere? No, it just says power supply. Intertech. No idea. Um, yeah, and there's some little clips in there. I'm going to keep these right in this bag because maybe I'll be able to look at it and go, hey, there's that cord I was looking for. It's for uh, like a spare to some of these lights that I recently installed. Not really a spare, but I've got them linked three together. And I think the person I got them from had them linked two together. And there were six lights. So therefore, there were three cords. I'm only using two, though, because I've hooked them up in a different way. I'm going to put this work. new bin. I was going to put it in with the plant, like chemicals and stuff, the liquids, and then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. Then I was going to put it with the soil, and I was like, why? It'll just be in my way every time I go get the soil. I put the spare, spare hanger in there. <clears throat> and then in this huge saucer. I've got a light meter. I've never used this. Somebody actually recently gave this to me. Digital Lux meter. Um, so I don't even know how to use it. Maybe we'll figure that out at some point. Um, but yeah, and another, um, it's a three in one meter, water, pH, and light, but I use something else. I use this for pH because I don't really test the pH of the soil. I test the pH of the water depending on what I'm watering if I remember so and it would be better if I put it back in its case occasionally wouldn't it <clears throat> I actually bought it for um, when I was doing some tissue culture but yeah now I just use it to test water for some stuff um like uh, semi hydro but anyway, I'm going to put all this extra stuff in there. The, the girl who gave me the pH meter and all that stuff. What else did she give me? I bought the cabinet from her and she gifted me the Hoyas. She also gifted me a bunch of other stuff. Um, plant hooks. These will come in very handy in the greenhouse. I can't reach the the wire or the bar that goes across the top. I can't reach it without a step ladder at this point right now, currently. So hook extenders are great. All right. What do I do with this? I have a giant plant somewhere. I have a couple of them. Hmm. A really big saucer, though. Like, how many inches is that? 20? Does it say? 16 inches, it says. That's a huge... Yep. 
There's more everywhere. We're not going to do this the whole video, I assure you. What is in here? Oh, more things from when I was doing tissue culture with other random stuff thrown in. This is somebody's makeup setting spray. Um, I think these are going to go in with the chemicals. I don't know how much I use them anymore. Um, but this will go in. What's that? I guess most people like liquid fertilizers, you'd actually measure that and, and you know, insecticides when you're mixing, mixing your own. I'm just like a dash will do it. I don't measure anything. Don't tell anyone, but yeah, I'm guesstimating <laughs> most of the time. I can go in there. All right, this is going in the bathroom because I don't know whose it is, but I'm sure they'll, they'll come for it. Nix, do we finish? Bin velut, velut, velut. I don't know. Sounds very fancy. I found even more stuff. <laughs> I think these pots came from the same girl. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but she's just over the whole plant thing. Which, my catnip spray, that's mine. <laughs> Why that's in there, I don't know. I think one track mine. Actually, it was supposed to be another orchid mist. I picked up the wrong bottle. But anyway, <laughs> she um, she's getting rid of her plant collection. She's just over it. And I don't think that there's any shame in that. You know, if you're over plants, sell them, give them away, whatever. It's fine. Um, looks like a turkey baster. <clears throat> Actually, this was for sucking up the, the agar and um, plant hormones, synthetic plant hormones to put into the flask. Um, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, she's just over the whole plant thing. And um, she's given me a lot of stuff lately. Oh, that's another one of those clips that are in the bottom of that bag. Um, this was mine, actually. She gave me the pots. I don't think she gave me anything else that was in there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Bonnie Organics fertilizer. Non-GMO. Ooh, ah. So I don't use that inside. Actually, I do use it a lot, but not inside because it's got a smell. Concentrate. Um, it's Captain Jack's dead bug. I've been mixing it instead of buying bottles over and over and over because that's just more plastic for the landfill, I guess. And then, oop, a couple pots. This one has a stray Lekka ball. And in there with the Lekka, that one ball, got to say that. Um... And then this one, which I use these. I wonder if I had a plant in this and gave it to her and then she just didn't have that plant anymore. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I knocked the bottom off this. That or maybe that's just how it fits. It's kind of loose. Okay, anyway. These are pretty. Room Essentials. Target. Target. This one too? Yeah. Okay, so um, that Monstera Aurea I cut up, I'm plotting on putting one of the top cuttings in there. Plotting on it. I already have a plan for that pot. She gave me another enormous one that's ceramic. I don't know. Um, it's, it's as big as this, if not bigger. I don't know how many, how many inches is this pot. Does it say on here? 12 inch. So, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Um... These are going to get added to a pot stack somewhere. One of many. Speaking of pots, even more like a... It looks like I've already washed. Um, the only reason I don't wash like a... Like before I use it or anything, I might give it a rinse before I put it in, in a, you know, cover pot. But um, it's used like a... I've used it previously on something else. So... That is why I've washed this. Washed it. Potting amendments. Oh my god, that's getting really heavy with all those bottles. My back. All right. <laughs> that's how we take care of that. More pots. Here we this pot stack for now. These are clean pot stacks. 
I have enough pots that I could have five bins like this and still not have enough storage for pots. I'm not going to have five bins of pots just sitting around. Am I? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm swearing to nothing. Okay. Enough playing with uh, plant stuff. Oh, alcohol spray. Enough playing with plant stuff. I guess we're going to actually try to organize the plants that are on that side of the room so that I can fit more. Also, I have two stuffed on the top shelf. They're hitting the ceiling, so that's not the best place for them. Also, I'm aware it's not, but this feels oppressively hot to me. It is 21.9 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. That's 71. I'm hot. I'm dying. It's ridiculous. And I think it's about 30 degrees outside. We had snow yesterday. Oh, please sit. Yeah, we had snow yesterday. It's gone now. Long gone. Can you see out the window? Let's see. Well, you can see the brown roof with not a bit of snow in sight. Anyway, I'm going to flip you around and we're going to look at my messy, messy shelves and try to unmessify the shelves. It's a mess. Okay, the lighting is not great. I'm sorry. Um, I can't make it in. There's so much light in here, <laughs> but it's just not good. It's not good. All right, so up there, they're hitting the ceiling. Um, it's a Hoya pubicalix and a Hoya macrophylla albo marginata. I guess outer variegated, they call it now. I'm not sure. I'm just going to take them. I know I'm cutting them off, but I'm going to take them and just set them down for the moment and shuffle. <clears throat> Lots of shuffle. If I can get other things out of my way. This looks so bad. This is a uh, Hoya Fusco marginata, and it is just not great. I did propagate this a while back because it's looking so bad. Uh, we're, we're dry and kind of wrinkly. There we go. It's very not well. And I don't know what's up with it. Don't know what's going on there. It's dry again. Maybe that's what's going on with it. It needs to be repotted. But it's doing so poorly. I'm afraid that I will probably kill this when I repot it. I have propag propagations of it somewhere. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice left. Somewhere. Possibly. <sighs> I don't see it, but I know I have it somewhere. Um, okay, I'm just going to set that out of the way for a moment. The you know, Hoyas that I propagated. This is Hoya, Hoya Lacanosa Silver Mint. And this one looks terrible, but I have another one back here. We'll see it in just a moment. It looks bad, right? It looks really bad. Like, some pieces of it just decided to die. And as I water it, like, they're just... not well. I need to pull this apart, repot it, um, any parts of it that look like they might survive, because, um, oh, that's really wet. I just watered it, though, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> usually I don't have problems with, like, Lacanosa or Croniana, but this one here has not, I never repotted it when I bought it. It has not done well, and it is in, like, a very peat-heavy soil, I don't know. We'll, we'll sort that out. It's on my to-do list. You'll see a lot of plants go on the to-do list. <laughs> the Hoya Rosita, which is doing really, really well. It probably needs to be repotted at this point, too, because it does dry pretty quick. And we have some pieces dying. What is going on? Hmm. I don't see anything on these plants. Maybe I should look at them with the microscope again. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> Rosita is doing good. It is, it is, I promise. Um, yeah, maybe it just needs a repot. Uh, one of the, this is a different pubicalyx. This one was silver pink or something like that. My daughter, my daughter got it for me in Charlotte. And this one has been repotted. It's very thin, but I think it was just underwatered. Not all of it is very thin. I don't know. It's lovely. This one has never flowered, and I don't think it's ever had a peduncle either. And it hasn't grown as fast as the one that's trellised. So, I don't know. We've lost a couple leaves. But it also has new growth. Very weird. Very weird. 
I don't know. This one's fine. I'm leaving this one alone. Some Ripsalis up here. This is a uh, Ripsalis grandiflora or robusta. It looks like it should grown quite a bit. <laughs> the thing I like about this Ripsalis is the older stems, how they become, you know, bald. And then the younger or newer ones are still furry. Spiky. Bristly. Whatever. It's cool. I like it. And then, is this a Ripsalis as well? I'm not sure. Let's see if it's got a sticker on it. It probably doesn't. No. It doesn't. Why don't I put tags in them? I'd have to look back to see what this is. It's either Ripsalis or Jungle Cactus or something of the sort, but it's uh, happy. It's growing. I did repot this not that long ago. Maybe I can find the pot and get the name off of it. And unless you know, then please tell me. Otherwise, I'll have to look back for the video where I hold it. Fine. <laughs> and my Hoya Linearis. It needs to be propagated because it's pretty bald on top. We've got some die off in there. Excuse me, my voice is trying to leave. And there's some um, dead bits here and there on the on the end. Why is this light so awful? There we go. It's constantly adjusting. And uh, sometimes it's not adjusting the way it should. But anyway, this one's okay. I just need to propagate it and kind of fill out the pot again. Um, which seems to be an ongoing thing with me and linear is. Uh, and this is Hoya mandarensis, which it did flower this summer. I think it still has some peduncles on. I don't think they're doing anything. Yeah, there's one. There's a little peduncle. Um, there's another one. There, there's a couple. So this one's okay. I just repotted it because once again, we're staying very flimsy, even though I was watering it, you know, regularly. Um, I don't know. I think it was like a two or three leaf plant when I got it, but yeah. So it's just in this because when the pot, as the nursery pot, as the soil in there dries, it gets top heavy and it'll just fall off the shelf. And that's not cool. That's not kind. And then this is my daughter's ramen. Why it's up here on the shelf, I don't know. Plant snips go in one of the bins. She can have the ramen in her room. Pumpkin. He doesn't need light because he's not going to grow. He's a decorative pumpkin. Um, that's, I think, parasitica or something like that. I'm just leaving that hanging because it's fine. Does it have water? I don't know. I can't tell. I might have to take that down and check it. Oh, I just mashed this up here literally just to get it off the floor. That's the Hoya pubicalix. I just talked about it not too long ago. I think this one had one peduncle once, but it never did anything. I really thought it would out in the greenhouse. I don't even see a peduncle on it anywhere now. Um, I see some vines that have quit in there too that are like dried out. So this one could maybe use a trim. I don't think I'm going to propagate it though because I don't, I don't need any more pubicalyx. I love it. I highly recommend a Hoya pubicalyx if you don't have one. Like if you're just thinking, oh, it's, you know, a very common basic Hoya. It is. It is, but it's a good one. Um, it just, it's tough. It's tough. It's up in a lot. Now this one here is suffering. Really, really suffering for some reason. Um, I think I may have missed way too many waterings way too frequently. Because we have lots of die-off going on in here. I can't even pull them off because it's rubbery die-off. Um, I might have to repot this one to keep it alive. <laughs> it looked much better than this just a couple months ago. Um, yeah, lots of, I mean, dead, dead leaves. I don't know. Uh, it's on the to-do list. The leaves that are okay seem okay. Does that make sense? The leaves that aren't already showing damage feel okay. It could feel better. I don't know. My Gloriosum, which is having an ongoing spider mite battle. The newest leaf has damage. That looks very spider mighty to me. 
Can you see the little spots? Oh, down the middle right in here. And then around the top there, especially. <clears throat> I don't know. This whole leaf is spider mite damage. And I've just left it. I can't see. I'm just looking for, like, signs that they're still there. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're there again. There again or there still. They're also in my hair now. I don't know. I'm tempted to cut all the foliage off this plant because I know it would be fine and it would come back. This is why I got rid of my previous florios. And this is, like, the second or third one I've had. I had four or five at one point. Got rid of them. Um, just recently got rid of one over the summer and then turned around and got this a couple months later. I'm not impressed. It's thirsty too. Are you? Yeah, it's thirsty. Um, all right, put this aside for watering. This one here, I don't know if it's where I've cut it. It kind of looks like it could be something fungal. This is a uh, gigas, philodendron gigas or gigas. I'm going to say gigas. See the yellow spots with like kind of a halo? I think that might be fungal? Bacterial? I don't know. I think it might be some kind of rust. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> um, I don't think it really has much roots yet because I would really like to get it out of this sphagnum. But I'm not seeing anything. Are you seeing anything? Because I'm not seeing anything. I don't know. The white in there is just some leftover perlite. Oh, yeah, there is, a, I think, a root right there. I don't know if we're focusing, but it's a different color than the surrounding material. I'm pretty sure that is a root sticking out over there. I might pot this up soon, too, then. We'll check it out when, uh, when we get to the next plant chores, where we actually do stuff with plants other than look at a bunch of them and move them around. But I guess this is part of having plants is just shuffling all your plant stuff around, especially if you have a large collection. Um, camp campii? I think so. Philodendron campii. I like this one a lot. If we could just get the light to cooperate. Um, I think it has something going on, though. Um, a leaf recently yellowed off, which it could just be that I let it go too long without water. Or it could be spider mites. It's spider mites. I don't know if you can actually see the little exoskeletons from them, but they're there. I see them. Like the little white, looks like plant dandruff. But it's covered. It's covered. So this one needs to go over here to be treated. I'm getting quite a, I'm getting quite a collection of plants that need to be, ow, my nose, treated. Um, for one thing or another. So I'm just going to, instead of leaving them in here in the floor, where possibly this fan is just blowing spider mites everywhere, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna put them right in the tub because that's where I'm going to treat them. Okay, I think this one just needs to be watered. This is Epipremnum amplissimum, uh, which is just looking pretty dry. It's looking thirsty. It's all curled in on itself. So, oh, my foot is just... I thought it could use a dusting. And probably more light and uh, watering. So um, the girl who gave me the Hoyas, she also gave me some plant chemicals, which I may or may not have shown you. I might have just put them away, but they're Arbor. Oh. Um, like bio insecticide, bio fungicide. I'm not sure what they, what all they treat because I didn't really look, but <clears throat> I might try those out. Um, okay, um, so, yeah, and I just need to kind of give these a wipe down or a rinse or something while I'm at it. All the cover pots, especially because some of these plants have had spider mites, cover pots and saucers. Um, Anthurium, Rad Lux, Lux Rad, Cross, what are you? Rad Lux, okay. It actually has two new leaves currently coming, and it needs water, and it's dusty. Ooh, there's my stink bug. Did I show you guys that the other day? It's been in here. Can you see him? 
He's going out the window right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get him. Um, okay, so top shelf. I think I am just going to leave this one light here. I have, you can't even see what I'm talking about. <laughs> that light. I'm going to leave that like it is. I have another one, but I think I'm going to put it in that corner over top of what is currently my extremely large desk. But I think I'm getting rid of one section of that. Um, so that I can put more plants in here. Also, I have a futon coming in here Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. I just ordered another, like a guest bed for the room that my daughter's currently in. So, and it's a canopy. Ooh, ah. But anyway, <laughs> I'm setting that up in there and she can use that. Um, but it will be the guest room when she moves out. So I don't know why I had to have a canopy bed. I think I'm living childhood dreams in my mid-40s. I, why not? All right, so anyway, um, I'll have to put that futon in here. All right, so I'm going to put taller, low-light plants up here now. Um, none of my poles will fit. Um, but yeah, plants that can... This is thirsty again. Uh, Dracaena, I think, of some sort. One of Bree's ex-girlfriends got this for me, and I kept it. It's, um, it's random. Some of the leaves have died in the middle. Um, it needs to be repotted into a more moisture retentive soil because I, I'm watering this all the time and it is dry, even way down in there. So maybe I'll set that aside for repotting rather than watering. Where did I put the repot pile? It's getting pretty big. So I'm just moving things from the bottom. If you see me bending over out off screen, um, one of the philodendron Florida beauties, the newest leaf, ended up kind of sectoral. Wait and see if the light catches up on there. But very pretty. Very pretty. Um, and it's got another one coming. I think this one has spider mites. I thought I saw it the other day. Was it this one or the other one? I don't know. Let's spray it anyway. Okay, so that kind of leaves me to philodendron on the top shelf. Um, I think they all need water. This is the McDowell. It's a little dry. Was I going to repot this? I have a couple of trough planters. Let's do it. I got to stop putting off repotting. All right, so that's going in the repot pile. I'm going in one landy eye. I'm going to spray that just because it is what it is and it always has something going on. I'm excited. I don't have to cook dinner tonight. But for the last two days, I've made stuff like I made one day, um, what you call it, chili. And then another day I made vegetable beef soup. So I'm not, not cooking. We're having leftovers. Needs water. Everything needs water. Maybe I'll pick up something that I can actually just move. Oh, hey, look at that. Nope, that needs water too. You're pretty though. Ooh, you're so attractive. Um, green satin syndapsis. Jade syndapsis is what I call it, but red tea. Okay. This is becoming watering day. This is dry. How about you? This was here to rehab. And it is. I need to get it on a pole. Putting plant chores off is like my thing. But I need to stop it because that next leaf is going to be a good one. I can feel it. Do I have a pole? I do. Maybe I'll do that too. Rape that pile. Um, I think this is philodendron <laughs> choco red or the stump for it anyway. It's not looking so good. Is there any life in there? I don't know. It's firm, so I'll just keep watering it. Your reflector. I'm not going to get anything moved until I water all these plants. That's horrifying how, how dry these are. <laughs> and all of these plants were watered before they came up here. They've only come up here in the past week. And they're this dry. This one is not. Yay! It's uh. They were calling it philodendron cobra, but it's uh, monstera 
<laughs> so where are you? Monstera Standaliana, the variegated. This one is barely variegated. It came from the plant that I have on a pole there that looks terrible. So I recently propagated and every propagation died. Everyone. Monstera Adansonia I variegated. Needs water. Everything needs water. My um, Alocasia cupria, which I think I just showed recently, is about to go dormant. And I think it had spider mites, so that would explain why it's so angry. So I think we're going to snip this, throw it in the bottom of the cabinet, and forget it exists for a while. I don't know. Yeah, it's not even trying to put out another leaf. Okay. Airflow. Let it dry. If I can get it out. Yeah, it's still pretty damp. We're going to set that aside and just let it dry out. <clears throat> let it get itself together um, before we try to deal with that. Um, Syndapsis. Silver Hero. I've got a couple of different pots of this around. I really need to just put them all in one pot together. I guess it's rooted. I don't really see any though. I think it's two little cuttings in here. I don't know. For now we're just going to stick it up here. Low light is fine for him. I, it, I realize it looks probably pretty dark there. Does it? I don't know. It looks dark there to me. However, there's, there are literally 9,000 grow lights in this room. No, there's not. I don't know how many there is. I'm not counting. But there's a lot. Um, so it's fine, I'm thinking. This new Thai constellation. Oh, it's got a new leaf trying to come. What, please? The light. Uh, it's got a new leaf trying to come, though. Right there. Excite. So excite. All right. Um, actually, we want to put that closer to the higher light. You can go over here in lower light. This alocasia looks like it's going to go dormant also. It was um, alocasia Okinawa silver, but this one was reverted. Oh, and it has spider mites. What's left of it has spider mites. Okay, so I was going to use um, the new stuff. To treat these plants, but I didn't realize it was going to be so many, so I'm just using the Captain Jacks because I know it works. <laughs> or it's been pretty successful for me in the past. Can I get you any closer? Sorry, you're so far away. Um, but I guess that's kind of how it works when you're trying to cover a large amount of space. Um, my very angry peace lily, it just needs to be cleaned up. This is the Domino got very underwatered at some point. I can go up here in lower light. I will clean that up eventually. Not terribly worried about it at this particular moment. Um, Subvestatum. Yeah. Subvestatum propagations. Nothing new happening yet. I don't see any roots at the bottom yet. We'll just wait longer. The leaves actually look pretty good, so I'm not very worried about the roots, and I'm sure it must be growing them. I think it had little teeny root shoots starting. And it's just in this once again, so it doesn't fall over as it dries. That's fine. I'm going to set you back here. <clears throat> I'm debating, do I want to set waves up there? Because it, it, it looks bright because it's right under the light, but at the same time it's really not, and the light is forward from the shelves. It literally comes to the front edge of these shelves. Hmm. Okay. Here's the al Alocasia Okinawa Silver that hasn't reverted. What is going on with it? It's so mad. Do you have spider mites again? Oh my gosh. An Alocasia that does not have spider mites. Wait. No. I don't see any. That's weird. Um, it'll be happier in the summer, I assume. I assume it'll be happier in the summer. At least I hope so. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. Pretty angry. Uh, where do I put you? Right there, I guess. Okay. Um, 
this this doesn't have to be low light but this second shelf down the things that are under that kind of do need to be low light because that is one of the worst lights that i have there um everything needs water this is a gift for someone if i ever get around to bringing it to her i'm sure she'd appreciate that do i want to water it or do i want to wait no nope, it needs water everything I guess I'm going to get some water on those plants and let them drain while I'm in here moving and talking. So as I'm going through here, I'm noticing that most of the plants need water. So rather than show you each one and be like, this needs water, I'm just going to grab them all and throw them in the tub and water them um, instead of pointing it out. And I'm eating batteries alive today. Polonia, either pulchra or repens, I don't know. I like this plant, though I pull it out of my terrarium. It's fine in lower light, but it really thrives in high light. I need a timeout. I need another beverage. I need a vape break, smoke break. Something's going to happen. Okay, slightly rearranged. Maybe we can actually see something. I swear to nothing. Okay, so I have some of my whole plants in the tub right now to be watered. They usually live 
in this bin and in there and kind of in the floor over here where I have other stuff in the floor over here <laughs> and back in this corner by this tent which there's other plants there that also need to be watered. You can see some empty pots here and there. Um, pardon the bins over here. Am I too far? I don't know. I can't tell. But I leave them for... Why am I so crooked? I leave them for maybe a minimum of an hour to drain um, because as I wet the pole it takes a while for everything to kind of flow through into the pot, soak the soil, and then drain out. So that'll be a while yet, but I've got a lot of plants uh, put away. I have the lights off so you can kind of see. Ring light, not facing the plants. Um, you can kind of see it in the corner there. Um, but anyway, lots done over here. I can still fit a couple more here and a couple more down there. I have to do some of the plants that are in the floor there, and there's one other. So there's like four there, and there's two, three, three here, like you can't see them, they're behind the camera. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to water all the pole plants in here, so there's still two, three, four, five, the Cebu Blue, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, there's about a dozen, at least. Plus a few more downstairs that haven't come up here yet. So that's fun. And there's some in the downstairs shower actually now that I think about it. It's a lot. I am exceptionally motivationally challenged today. So I don't know how many plants were in here. It was like 150 some odd. Right now I've got about 200 plants in here. There's still room to squeeze some more, which is a good thing, but there's also plants just kind of everywhere. Like that's sitting on the desk, part of my coffee cup. Um, and there's more just kind of stuck here and there. There's one randomly hanging back there um, wouldn't know what light looked like. Um, the cat is in those plants right there currently, tearing them up. Happy about that. There went my fan. So that fan will never be the same. Also, probably neither will the <laughs> Florida Beauty. It's fine. It's there. Uh, yeah. I still have to do something with these tables, um, not that you can see them, pardon the ring light, but they're, they're back there, I assure you. Um, motivation is hard. It's cold today also. Well, I guess it's 21 in here now, almost 22, or 71.4. I'm so tired. The humidity is about 46% and I've got a humidifier on. I don't know if it's doing anything, but we're trying. <clears throat> so that's actually the warmest it's been in here all day. It's been staying right around 67, 68. So um, there's finally some warm in here. I guess I need to move. Uh, uh. Moving around will warm me up quite a bit. I got dirt all over the floor. And a husky meatball. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to quit putting it off and I'm going to attempt to do something with this area. It will be kind of far away, so I apologize. I'll speed it up though, so I won't be so bad maybe. This to me is the most <clears throat> tedious part, 
the part I get most burnt out on on being a planty person is the having to clean up behind myself. So um, it's not fun for me. That and trying to make room for plants where they get enough light and they look okay. Spare change. So that's better. Now, which one of these tables am I getting rid of? Probably this longer one, huh? Just takes up too much room. And this one folds up for storage. This one here, if I decide to get rid of it, I have to carry it somewhere else in the house. So yeah. The only thing that sucks about that is I... <laughs> I have things that I need to fit on surfaces like the TV, the computer, the little fridge. Um, I guess I don't have to have them, but I like them up here in this space. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the bigger table. Oh, it's the sacrifices we make to have more space for plants and a futon. That I don't particularly want or need, but here we are. I have even more stuff. This is a candle full of tacks. This is not mine. It's a coffee cup full of candle full of tacks. And it smells manually? Manly? Manually. I was going to say masculine. Not manly, necessarily. It smells like ambergris. Um, it's one of my daughters. She left it in here. My thermometer. <clears throat> right, my battery died. Is anyone surprised? My husband called and my battery died. Um, so now I'm pulling this thing back out that I'd already put away. The battery charger. I'm shoving old pots and everything else under this table for about a week now already, so <clears throat> it's a mess. Dirt, paint, everything else. I know you can't really see it, but it's a mess. Take my word for it. Where's the handle? This side. Oh! <clears throat> I'm trying to get it out here to get enough room to fold it up. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Why is it so hard to unlock? There we go. All right then. That makes a little bit more room, I guess. Now what do I do with this table? Where it won't fall over on a plant, or cat, or dog. Alright, so now I'm going to swing this around like I had the other one. There. And that'll give me some room to put some plants back here, and I'll put a light up here. In my pea brain, this is how it's working anyway. Well, we'll see. Let's lay the TV down so we don't break that. I've already dropped it a couple times. And somehow it still works. Please don't fall. Also, this table is, oh, or this desk, rather, is glass underneath there. What is falling? Make sure it's on the table. Look out, little kitty. Right. I don't know if I like it up against the wall. It's so short. My paint. 
That needs to go in the cupboard under the stairs with Harry. Potter? No? <laughs> There's stuff all over the floor and it's not mine and it's driving me nuts. Everybody else's stuff. So, when my young people move, they have a habit of leaving things that they want, but they just don't want right now, here. And I don't love it, because I don't want it either, and then I have to find something to do with it. Or, because if I throw it out, if I throw their stuff out, I feel bad for throwing their stuff out. But they put me in that position over and over. Like this, jukebox, that's not mine, or radio, whatever it is. That's not mine. Then there's a basket over there, not mine. A box full of speakers, not mine. <laughs> am I beating this microphone up? Sorry. <clears throat> if I am, my apologies. Yeah, um, the TV's going to have to go somewhere else. Maybe I'll mount it back on the wall. I have a mount over here. But I don't really use it as a, as a TV. I use it as an extra monitor. Um, and I can't see that far from here. TBD. Okay, the mini fridge is definitely going to have to go somewhere else. I have these little stands here by this window, so I might move one over there. Once again, clutter up the space. But I can put that mini fridge on it and a plant. So maybe that's the way to go. It's a lot, right? It was a lot. It was, I think, uh, I got it down to about an hour. 
maybe if I, when I edit this part in, because this is obviously after, um, maybe I'll have whittled it down a little bit more, but it's a lot. Um, and I've moved more plants in here even today, and probably will even more tomorrow. I don't know. Um, never did get the light hung, which I think I said in the video that I wanted to hang a light up there. I haven't done that yet. I don't actually know where the drill is that I want for that. I, we're also taking apart the bathroom. You probably saw some mess in the hall through the open door in the video. Um, that's because we've just tore out the bathroom. Um, oh, actually, it's almost back together now. But anyway, <laughs> that's what was going on there. Um, my hall doesn't always look like that. <laughs> eh, mostly. So yes, that's that's what I had. Like, what do you think? I, I think I could do better. I'm trying to, like I have shelves and I'm trying not to leave empty spaces on them. But at the same time, I don't want all the plants so bunched together. Um, I try not to have them touching, but that's just, that is not a realistic aspiration, I don't think. There's just so many plants in here. A lot of them currently are touching now um, because I need to use the space that I have available. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm okay with it. It's, they're not so cluttered together that I can't pick one up and take it out or move it. Um, I can't, like, that I can't single one out if I have to pull it out. I can still, I can still do that. So I guess they're not that cluttered. They are pretty cluttered. I don't know. We'll go through here um, one video here soon, and we'll actually really look at a lot of them. Um, I showed quite a bit, I think, at the uh, beginning of this video before I realized that it was going to take me all night at that rate to get the plants off of the shelves. So I don't know. Anyway, next video I'm pretty sure is even more repotting. Um, it'll be the things that I set aside from this video. Uh, to repot and pay attention to. I did treat and water pretty much every plant in here within the last 48 hours. So they all got um, watered in the shower so they didn't get fertilized. They got watered in the shower. They got sprayed down with um, Captain Jacks because a lot of them had spider mites or were next to ones that had spider mites. Um, so I don't know. And I'll probably continue to do that like every time I water just keep spraying until I don't notice any more spider mites. I'm thinking about getting some beneficials in here. Um, I don't know. I think you have to wait a while after you've treated a plant. Uh, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. So, wish me luck. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for me for now. And uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Come back and check me out again soon. Bye.